Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to our next tutorial on Core Java. So this pro tutorial will explain about our uh, last video program that is on encapsulation this program. So in last video we discussed about the encapsulation and encapsulation one example uh, with the class name called here encap. So on that uh, we created a few things so that is a uh, integer double string and for that i want to display something i added one class uh, one method called display and those we executed in a main class so that uh, how this happens uh, we can see here now See, when I compiled this program, so when I compiled this program, that is, uh, the compiler will verify whether the Java code available in the program is valid or not. Means whatever I written here, it can execute, it can check this is valid or not. If valid, the compiler will generate that class file. So the dot class file generated by compiler will be provided by the for the JPM execution. This already we discussed in earlier. So this can be done by the JVM. So the execution process of the Java program will be done by JVM. It begins from the main. So even though if here we are writing this here, but always it can be executed from the main class itself. Initially, the Java stack will be empty. So this Java stack will be empty initially. The JVM will begin execution of the program by calling main. When method is called execution, then the method will be pushed into the stack when that begins to the execution. Means what happens here now? this is executed first in that this executed after this what we created here one class means what we created the stack that is executed here this one so then after that it can be it goes to this is available or not it can search here so this is available here so then the statement will create student class I mean encapsulation class and creating an a class will allocating the memory for the instance of the heap memory so whatever the memory is here created that can be allocated here this then here allocating the memory means we need to discuss one thing about here that is here i'll write that what is that i'll in comment i'll write that that is instance variable this i think already we discussed in earlier tutorial but anyhow i'll explain once again this because here it is very helpful here so what is instance variable if a variable if a variable if a variable is declared is declared is declared inside the class inside the class if a variable is said uh, declare the class and inside the class and outside the method outside the method outside the method then that we can say as instance variable why that concept here we are discussing means see here i think uh, this already we see in this example see again i am running this program just you can see the output see 0 0.001 why because that is here this instance variable means 
in an instance variable is declared and uh, not initialized then it will be initialized automatically with default values so this already we discussed for byte uh, short then int long long so for these all it should take default as zero then uh, if it is double if it is double or car sorry double and float double and float it take default is 0, 0.0 then car it will take the space for car it will take the space then boolean it will take false it will take false so in our case see in our case here first is the integer oh, just first year it is in our case integer so that's why it's a zero that's why it's a zero and next is the double so it's a point zero and like a last is a character string this are the same so it should take the space like this this is the output null value so like this is we can do this so that is a that is a way it is a deploying i mean it is uh, inserting the values like this so but it should be instant because of the instance variable the data should be like that and one more thing here a class can contain any number of methods means here one class here we have mean that class that should have any number of methods but jvm can call only main method for execution if it has 20 methods 30 methods but it should start from the main method only if you want other methods to be executed then it is the responsibility of the programmer to call the other method which has to be executed so if you want to call other method we should see that's why here we said that s1 dot display so this method will call here otherwise that method cannot execute it the execution will stop here itself see if i comment this there is no error in this code if i run this program see only it is printed up to this why because the display method has not executed so the statement will call display for execution so then it is called as a call for the execution to display will push the data top of the java stack then begins to the execution when a method is completely executed the method will be removed from the java stack so once that method is removed that will be removed and every class a java application will be represented in the form of a class diagram so how this class diagram so that class diagram contains represents as a three parties three partitions providing for the information so like how it should be just i'll show you here that should be with the three parties patients like i'll take here uh, one example so class diagram this is like so here here is in our case it is the uh, n caps this is the main class here just i'll reduce the font size Here, what are we defined? That is a roll number, roll number, marks. Instead, is integer. This is a double and name. This can be displayed. Then, after this, here 
it can be display and main class so this can be means every class diagram should be like this whatever the main class within that uh, main this is the main class that means this is other class this is the main class here like this so here this we can say has the three types one is the means the three positions one is the main class other is the variables other is the methods class variables methods so here each class can each java program can contain number of variables and methods so then what is variable what is method how it contains that we will discuss in detail in our next video thank you for watching this please subscribe to get more updates thank you